Hey guys, it's Phil from SmilingGardener.com and today I am going to give you a photosynthesis simple explanation. Uh, basically, because that's all I know is the simple explanation. I thought it would be useful for me when I was studying gardening initially to know the basics. Uh, and so I, that's all I know. <laughs> uh, and that's all I need to know as a gardener. So you have your plant. Very nice plant. It has nice green parts. It has... Uh, leaves and photosynthesis takes place in all the green parts of a plant so if you have like herbace herbaceous perennials even the stems can be photosynthesizing but the leaves that's really what the leaves are for uh, then you have uh, below ground beautiful roots and they are necessary to take up water which is where uh, a lot of the water from a plant comes from underground so water is needed for photosynthesis. That's the first thing. Second thing would be some uh, some air. Really, it's carbon dioxide that the plants need. They take in carbon dioxide, and they'll take in carbon dioxide all throughout um, their body. They'll take in carbon even through in their roots. Um, so it's not only from the air, but so that's carbon dioxide, CO2. And then they need energy. And so the energy comes from the sun, comes from the, uh, oh, I lost my water. The visual light spectrum, the same thing we see, energy comes down here and that energy allows the chemical reactions to occur. Uh, and so there you go, you got your water, your H2O. Oh, I better get that. H, I can't draw twos upside down, H2O. Um, and then you have photosynthesis. So, uh, carbon dioxide, water, energy makes it all happen, and then what happens? Um, well, basically that oxygen, the oxygen is given out again, which is why I can breathe. Oxygen, given out again. Um, if it was, yeah, that's all I need to say there. And then um, water, you know, a, a little bit of water is given off as well during this process. It's worthwhile saying that. It comes out of the leaves here. And then the, the rest, the carbon, goes into the plant and the plant gets a little bit bigger. And basically it's sugar that it creates. Carbohydrates, various kinds of sugar. Um, and that, that's, this is really how a plant eats. And this is how a plant gets bigger. Um, it needs a, you know what else it needs, which I'll draw in purple. It needs a little bit, like maybe 5%, a little bit, a little bit of minerals from the soil, proteins, minerals. Um, and so it's going to take those up and that they're just going to, they're almost like a catalyst to just a little, a little thing that's needed to make this whole reaction happen. Um, and so that is how a plant eats, and, it's, and then it grows, and it gets bigger. It does this all on its own. Um, and so then, this is, this is how I get huge muscles, uh, because I get to eat the plants. And so do most, everything else, most organisms on the planet rely on this photosynthesis, whether they eat plants directly, or whether um, something comes along and eats me. <laughs> Uh, ultimately, it's relying on that photosynthesis for food. So plants are pretty amazing. And uh, that's all I wanted to do was give this photosynthesis simple explanation.